The ancient Egyptian civilization lasted roughly from 3000 BC to around 500 BC. Look at the following clip about ancient Egyptian medicine. Look for big differences as well as some similarities with prehistoric people. Note down some key points about Egyptian medical practices. Well, thanks to their passion for building and painting elaborate tombs and temples, and their early invention of writing, we've got more continuous evidence about them than we have about any other ancient civilization. We know they believed in an afterlife. They thought that a dead person's spirit could be reunited with the body as long as the body survived. So they developed the idea of preserving the body by embalming it, using certain spices to keep it from decay. This didn't work for the most perishable parts, like the liver, so they cut them out and preserved them separately in special jars. Some people think this experience helped them learn about the way the body worked. Certainly some medical writings suggest that 4,000 years ago, Egyptian doctors had worked out that the heart, liver and lungs were connected. 46 channels go from the heart to every limb. If a doctor, priest or magician places his fingers on the back of the head or hands, then he hears the heart. There are four vessels to the liver, there are four vessels to the lungs. Flow away, cold, son of the cold, who shatters the skull so that sickness overtakes the followers of Ray who appeal to Thoth in prayer. Behold, I have used your medicine against you. Milk of a woman who has given birth to a son and fragrant gum will get rid of you. Above all, just about everyone carried amulets or charms to protect against illness. Here are the main points you need to remember. Egyptian doctors examined patients and simple surgery was performed. The advance of writing meant that expertise on symptoms, diseases and recipes for cures was written down and could be built on over time. Doctors were trained in the art and rules of medicine. Natural cures, like the use of willow as an antiseptic, were used alongside prayers, spells and charms to ward off illness. Religious rules encouraged cleanliness. Egyptians were required to wash regularly and change their clothes. Mummification involved taking out internal organs. This helped increase their knowledge of anatomy, although religious rules forbade dissection. They knew that the body contained channels like those of a river. It was thought that blockages in them caused diseases. A number of new factors in Egyptian civilization made medical advances possible. The fertility of the Nile Valley meant that not everyone needed to till the soil. An agricultural surplus meant that people were free to settle in towns. This in turn led to the creation of the first specialists, craftspeople, priests and doctors. Larger numbers of people living close together brought public health and hygiene problems and the need for strong government, the all-powerful pharaohs. Finally, the development of writing made it possible to record and pass on medical knowledge. <laughs>